I repeat all the real niggas worldwide. Salute. Real shit. All right, that's enough of that. Well, everyone, welcome back. Uh, tonight is technically week one, I guess, if you want to call it that, starting. I guess it's a week. Well, not really. More like four days or whatever. Um, this year, I'm going to do the videos a little different, at least this week. Um, I kind of haven't been seeing everyone because people are in college or moving away and stuff. So I wanted just to rip on everyone before the season starts, and then I'll make my picks at the end. <coughs> um... This year, I might do a theme every week, I think. This week's theme to kick off week one is loss. Right here, I have, well, you can't really read, oh, you can read it now, is In Memoriam, which is an obituary to everyone in this league. And uh, I just wrote down, you know, a couple thoughts about everyone. And I promise not to be too mean, but I don't know, maybe come over and I will be. Um... So the theme is loss, you know, loss could be defined as a lot of things. Loss could be like losing a loved one, losing your keys even, just anything that you can't find or anything that used to be with you that has departed, I guess you could say. Um, loss could also be defined losing to the same person uh, two years in a row in Fantasy Football League. So I guess all of you guys are technically losers and have gone through some type of loss the past two years. Something that I myself haven't experienced to... Uh, recently but I'll get to that later I'll get myself don't worry um so you know I just wrote up a little obituary for you guys um I don't know let's start with Tom Tom lost that weight challenge he uh pushed out on the last night at the draft he would not weigh against me I'm down to about 214 right now he's at I think last time I saw about 217 so good for him. I weigh less than him. So I just wanted everyone to know that because I've lost more weight and Tom technically lost the challenge. So I there's Tom's loss. You know, everyone has a little bit of it. Um, moving on to Steve. Steve, I really just lost his weight. You know, he lost the um, championship last year, which, you know, he had to go into exile. So he lost his way to North Carolina. And is probably staying there the rest of his life, so he never has to confront me or look at me eye to eye again. Um, Tony, you know, everyone, you know, liked him and everything, but he lost that tooth at hockey, but he's look, been looking pretty good now. Um, so that's good for him. Uh, Nick, you know, I love you, but, you know, he lost two loves this year. He lost his Care Bear, a.k.a. the Mare Bear, after... Uh, he threw up at that preseason game on that little kid. She just cut the ties with him. And then surprisingly, I don't know why, I think he's still a free agent. I don't know if anyone, you know, picked him up, but he lost the Sanchez. So anyone wants to, you know, pick him up and maybe trade him for Brady, maybe Nick will take you up on that or maybe Moss or something. I'm pretty sure he'd give up a lot, you know, to get that, you know, feeling back in his heart beating. Um, Corey. Corey lost his virginity this year, you know, good for him, it's about time everyone should be, or have already lost it for that matter. Um, he lost it to Coach Sandusky at that professional hockey slash skateboarding slash football league that he's a part of, um, making $35 million a year, um, just being a professional hockey goaltender, uh, quarterback for the Bills slash Colts, he plays every week, once at once and once at one and once at four. And then that skateboarding career he started. So, pretty interesting league. Wish I could do three professional sports at once, but I don't know. I just do me. Um, Danny, unfortunately, lost some hair and it's forced him looking into uh, more like butters every day. Um, Greg, unfortunately, lost Alyssa at the Cove and he still hasn't been able to find her. Um, from what I'm reading, I think she showed up at his house one day and told him to, and I quote, go play in traffic. Um, so I hope you look both ways before you cross the street, Greg. Uh, Mike lost any chance of winning this year and me picking him to win in any of these videos by picking up Tyler Thigpen when at least six quarterbacks, including the Sanchez, are still available that are starters. 
Uh, I don't really know what he was trying to do unless he just wanted to donate 20 bucks to us. Um, Andy actually lost his home and was homeless for a little part of the past year, but he now is living in an apartment, so he's he lost his house, but he moved downsized to an apartment. Not a bad idea. Um, Zach lost his heart after his first love dumped him. Um, him and Hunter seemed very happy together, but... You know what they say about first loves. You always think it's going to be the one until you find the one. And um, if this hasn't happened, Zach, yeah, just play it like, I don't know, a little after you start college or something. Trust me, it will eventually happen. Um, Brian lost my eyes that night in like May or June after Lux when I drove into his driveway and saw him fucking Anna. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to find my vision yet. That's why I'm having a hard time reading the sheet. And I really... It's hard for me to look at them the same way. Um, I guess that's everyone, really. Yeah, that's everyone. Except me. And, and I'm going to be honest. I have lost something in this past year. And then I'll get to the picks. I did lose Tom, who left me... Um, we started getting fairly serious, and he had to leave to Fredonia so Christine wouldn't get, you know, suspicious or anything. Um, he actually left me this shirt, which I'm wearing right now, and I have worn all day. Um, sorry. And I will continue to wear every day till he gets back. Um, I miss him very much, and Tom, baby, I wish you were here right now. So, I guess this brings it to the picks. All right. In Trent, we trust in Sean Man Beavers. Um, I'm going to go with myself because I'm greedy. Kylan's Believers and Buffalo Snipers. This is probably, I don't know. In years past, I think it'd be closer, but I think Andy will win. Um, feeling fine, wild carrot bubble, and I want to score. Um, I don't think he can score, so I'm going to take Steve. Morningwood in the quarterback. Uh, we all know how Corey feels about Wood, and he'll probably be paying more attention to that than his lineup, so I'm going to take Tony. We got Zach Attack and the Michael Sex Slaves. Zach doesn't have any backup quarterbacks from a average offense on his team, so I'll take Zach. And then we got Buffalo Angry Birds and Borkowski's Broskies. Um, actually, one's really close. I think closer than all the other ones from Projections. But I'm going to go with Tom because he's not gay. So that's it, guys. I'll see you next time.